two cut up onions, two cut up bell peppers, the green ones, and one cut up orange bell pepper. Beef bouillon. Now first, I already put the um, meat tenderizer on it. This is, has no MSG in it and no salt. It's unseasoned, okay? No MSG. That's why you don't have to use that, but we like to use that to tender our meat, especially beef. Yes, sir. Some Ocho Rios oxtail seasoning. Some roast Roast beef seasoning, yes sir. Got some parsley flakes here. Onion powder, yes sir. The good old seasoning salt. And some black pepper. Some H2O right over here, okay. I have two tablespoons of melted salted butter, yes sir. And I got a cup of all purpose flour. We're not gonna use all this, but I just got that amount in there, okay. So first we gonna go right into it. Listen, fam, you're going to love this recipe, okay? Now, you see the beef neck bones? Yes, sir. All beef. And these are beef oxtails. They work well together. Okay, so you got two tablespoons of melted butter. I'm going to sprinkle it. I can mix this up. All right. Okay, so now you're going to go with one-fourth of a cup of onion powder. Mm-hmm. All that flavor up in that thing. One tablespoon of the seasoning salt. I like to mix it up halfway through the seasoning, especially when you're baking them. This thing gonna be real good, fam. As you can see, it's a lot of pieces down up in here. But that's what we need. Okay. Oh man, you're getting ready for uh getting ready to start. Who's gonna make the playoffs? The championship game tomorrow. Yes, sir. Listen, fam, I ain't, I'm not saying that Georgia can't beat Alabama. I know they can. But I just still like Alabama in the head-to-head -head matchup because of the quarterback play. I don't care how much defense you got. You can't you can't uh, substitute that with talent. All right? All right, so here we go. And that's where Bryce Young come in there, and he should get them over the hump. All right, so now here's the all-purpose flour. I'm going to season a little bit here. Get that good grave up in that thing, family. All right. Okay, now, listen. This is the Ocho Rios of oxtail season. This one-fourth of a cup. 
You go ahead and just dump that on in there. We're going to mix it up real good. It's going to smell good too, fam. Two tablespoons of black pepper. Mm -hmm. One tablespoon of the roast beef seasoning. Enough of flavor. Okay. And here's one teaspoon, one teaspoon of the beef bouillon. All right. Okay, so now we're going in. Lift it up, let it drop to the bottom. Nice and seasoned. Mm-hmm. I'm going to show you the big roasting pan. I'm going to cook this here, family. I want it nice and deep because we got to add some water to it. Now, you know, with the oxtails, I'm going to put enough water to, uh, to cover it halfway. I'm not going to dominate it because we want our uh, oxtail. You know how we like our oxtail, family. Get on in there. They get nice and seasoned, too. It smells good. You see that? Get nice and sticky. That's what I want. All right. Ooh, we, we, we finished mixing that thing up. Okay, look at that, fam. That look good in season, man. Anyway, fam, okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to put a few vegetables at the bottom of the pan. I'm going to show you the pan, the big, big roasting pan in a minute, okay? Then we're going to go ahead and lay the oxtails over in there, okay? Then we're going to cover the rest of the the rest of the meat with another layer of uh, vegetables, okay? Then we're going to pour some water in there halfway, and then we're going to start our baking process. So hold on tight. I'll be right back. Okay, fam, so we're going to go ahead and sprinkle some onions at the bottom here. Halfway, half of them, okay? All right? Now, green peppers. Want that onion flavor at the bottom too. We add that water and that broth in there. Yes, sir. Onion, them orange ones. Okay. Look at that, fam. Okay, fam. As you can see, I got the, the half the vegetables down there. Now I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit more flour at the bottom. Uh huh. Get that good grave up in that thing. Yeah, sir. All right, that should be enough. I want a nice amount of gravy with it, but not too much. All right. So now we're going in with the, the oxtails and the beef neck bones. Okay, now you see that fan? Oh my goodness, that's a thing of beauty. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go in, let's get up out of corner here, and we're gonna pour it about halfway covering the meat, okay? We're not gonna dominate the meat. Let's get here. Okay, you see that? That's about halfway. Yeah, sir. Okay, so now we're gonna lay the rest of the vegetables on top. Mm-hmm. Big with your boy. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. I like to lay on across the top like that for that little cup. You already know. That's a thing of beauty, family. Okay, so what we're going to do now. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to cook it about one hour uncovered, okay? One one hour un uncovered, then I'm going to cover the rest of the way, the last two hours, cover it up, okay? Because I don't want it, I don't want, I want to get them done first, halfway done first, and then cover it 
That way, it can make its gravy and the meat will be tender and juicy. Tender, fork, juicy, ready, all that good stuff. All right? So 325 degrees for three hours, okay? Stay with your boy. Now, listen, let me tell you something. 23, 25 for three hours, okay? Do it how you want to do it. I might want to get mine a little more darker, a little more, you know, a little bit more sticky, icky, okay? So hold on tight. I'll be right back. Okay, fam, we're going in the oven. You see it's 9.30, so 12.30, I expect it to be done. We'll be back. All right, fam, as you can see, it got other stuff cooking in here. You already know we love this here. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Golden brown need to stay in there a little longer. Okay, I got my rice over there. Ooh, yeah, mama. Ooh, look at that, look at that family. Hey, I'm gonna look at them beans. Yeah, yeah. Them peas there. Yeah. Black eyes with all my seasoning and stuff in it. With smoked ham hocks in it. Yeah, sir. You see the clock? It's 12 noon. So 30 more minutes on the oxtails that's in the oven. Yes, yeah, sir. There's dessert. You already know. Nice apple pie. Let the bed do the work. All right. That's what's going on. And we're about to make the cornbread. So hold on tight. I'll be back with the finish. All right, fam, you see the time, 12.26. I'm going to go ahead and try to check on it now. I can't wait, though. No. Ooh, wee. Look at the steam. Look at the steam. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, mama, there goes that man. Uh-huh. Now, let's see if they fall ready, fam. Uh-huh, I ain't playing with y'all. Hold on one second. Let's see if they fall tender. <laughs> I had hit a bone on that old MG. Look at that. Look at that. I told you they fought an old MG. Look at that, fam. Ooh. <laughs> Mama, there goes that man. The homeboy G Rich has done it again. Hold on, fam. Let me hold on. Uh-uh. I got to do this right. Let's see. Oh my word. Look at this. Look, see what I'm saying, family? Only to now. Do you understand? Look at that golden crust. Look at that. Look at the gravy up in there, family. See that? Oh. And now, see, now I'm proud of that thing right there, fam. Look at that. Look at all that goodness up in there. Nice and juicy, just like I like it. You see it's fork, ten, fork tender and ready to go? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. You can put that on some rice, some mashed potatoes, or eat it just like that. Stick with your boy. Love y'all in life. Once again, G-Rich out. In your mind.